And then if you want to add like a slightly reddish. There is only one requirement to gain access to the art studio at the Brock Farney Assisted Living Facility in Vancouver. I was in the, in the Air Force a long time ago. Canadian Air Force. It's the Royal Canadian Air Force. <laughs> They are among the 27 residents who served in the Canadian military and thanks to Veteran Affairs and the Providence Foundation are offered the opportunity to become artists or at least be creative. I thought, boy, this is a marvelous place to put in some time and, and maybe learn a little bit about art and stuff like that. It's very relaxing. And I like the people that I work with. The program is an old one, dating back to the end of World War II. It was created to um, sort of as a occupational therapy for the vets. These were young men and uh, they had PTSD. Is it easier if I put it on the table? While these vets are no longer young, in years at least, art still has enormous therapeutic value. It's very healing, it helps with dementia. Here I'm trying to do a portrait of a friend of mine. David can't physically make it down to the artwork studio, so it comes to him. Having never painted before, he was skeptical at first. They said, here's paper, and they said, just draw a bunch of lines on that. This is what those lines formed. Today, David's creations fill the wall, and creating them fills his heart. I can't even get up and sit up and things, so it's a feeling that I'm accomplishing something. Linda Aylesworth, Global News.